In today's video, we are going to discuss the difference between an unheated yellow sapphire and a beryllium treated yellow sapphire. I'm going to do this by showing you how these sapphires look like under the microscope and what we as gemologists check to see the difference between the two. So why is it important to tell the difference between an unheated and a beryllium treated sapphire? First, there's a very large price difference between the two. Second, after treatment, the original sapphire property ha has been changed, which is an important consideration you should look at if you're looking to buy the yellow sapphire or Pokraj based on Vedic astrology purposes. And third, and the biggest reason why I make these videos is I believe everyone should be informed about your yellow sapphire purchase so they know what they are purchasing and can accordingly pay the correct price. So before we start today, let us have some fun and play a guessing game in what, which of these two do you think is an unheated or beryllium treated yellow sapphire. And in five seconds, I will tell you the difference, which is the unheated and beryllium. So let's start now. So if you said the one on the left is the unheated yellow sapphire, you are correct. This stone is actually the GIA certified 5.08 carats unheated yellow sapphire from Sri Lanka. While the one on the right is a beryllium treated yellow sapphire. And this stone is only 0.30 carats. So by just looking at it, at these two stones, I th I'm assuming most people would have guessed the left one would have been the beryllium and the right one would have been unheated because the right one was more included and it was le ye less yellow and less saturated. But you see, looks can be deceiving. So that is why it's important for us to look at under the microscope these two stones so we could tell the difference which, which is unheated and which is brilliant treated. So let's move on and discuss about the pricing. So what is the difference in pricing between a brilliant treated yellow sapphire and an unheated yellow sapphire? So instead of me just telling you what is the difference between the two, I thought why not just go online and see what they're selling at. So I decided to go on eBay and search for a 5 carat beryllium sapphire and I found this stone which you can see on your screen right now. So it's a 5.30 octagon beautiful cut flawless stone and total price for this stone is $2,000 which is around $400 a carat. So now let's look at an unheated yellow sapphire which is the second image which you see here. This is from our website and this is a stone which we have in stock. The GIA is certified 5.08 carat unheated yellow sapphire. And you, as you can see, the total cost for this stone is $4,978. So it's almost um, double the price of the brilliant yellow sapphire. But I actually believe the one which is sold on eBay, that brilliant sapphire is slightly overpriced. And the one which we are selling is of course an excellent deal. But again, even by just comparing two stones which you can see online, you can see the difference between the two is double. And this is by someone disclosing the difference that this is unheated and this is a brilliant treated. And that is why it's important to tell the difference between the two. Okay, so before we look at these stones under the microscope, let's just look at how these sapphires look like before treatment and after treatment. So I decided again to go online and visited the Gem and Jewelry Institute of Thailand, which is a quite a reputable lab in Thailand. And they actually had this image, which I found really interesting. It's an image of how the sapphires look like before treatment and after treatment. So on the top row is on the left is how the blue sapphires looked when they were not treated. And on the right is what they look like after they've been treated. So on the top row, these stones have been only has been heated with the normal heat treatment, which they classify as normal heat treatment. While on the bottom row, the stones which are have been subject to beryllium treated, which we are discussing in today's video. So you could see on the bottom left that the the sapphires are actually purplish, or you know this strange color before the treatment, 
and after they've been treated with brillium on the right then they become this orange or yellow color so a lot of people who are interested in Vedic astrology or I'm interested in Bhagyan Pukraj has asked me why can't we just buy a brillium treated yellow sapphire when they're treated even though I mean they have they're the same yellow and they have the same property as being a sapphire but the big the issue of buying these brilliant treated yellow sapphires for your astrology purposes is that as you can see on the left these stones were not naturally yellow they were actually maybe purple blue slightly blue or gray and only by adding brilliant then it's been treated to become this yellow color so if you're buying these stones for astrology purposes it has no effect if you buy a brilliant treated yellow sapphire please so please take this in mind when you're looking to getting a book rush for wedding purposes okay so now let's look at these the yellow sapphires under the microscope so the first one right here is the 5.08 carat unheated yellow sapphire and you will notice there's some inclusions on the bottom which I'm zooming in right now so when we zoom in in here these are actually really fine intact crystals I'm trying to zoom in a little more so you could take a look uh, these intact crystal it's not that clear so uh, I'm just going to show you an image of it so in this image you could see that the uh, these really fine intact crystals prove that the stone is is uh, unheated so if you see any inclusions which are natural which has not been altered uh, and by little experience like the train like like gemologists like ourselves we could really tell quickly really quickly that these stones are unheated or treated and by just looking at these crystals you could see they they have really defined lines they don't have anything like cloudy or like sticky or so these are just clues as detectors we look at and trying to tell if the stone is unheated or heated okay so let's look at the brilliant ye yellow sapphire under the microscope the first thing you'll notice is, yeah the stone is not cut really well there is dead on top and you can see there is inclusion in the middle of the stone so these inclusions will help us distinguish if the stone has been treated or not so let, let me just zoom in here so i'm just zooming in and and you you will notice that there's a there's this blue hill right there i'm zooming in a little more let's just look at this much closer oh yes okay so here right here this is a blue halo which is surrounding around this crystal so this blue halo is a telltale sign that the stone has been really treated so let's look at a close-up image of this blue halo and melted crystals so melted crystal and blue halo sheer inclusions are a telltale sign of a treatment for beryllium diffused yellow sapphires the internal features are evidence that the gem has been subjected to extremely high temperatures these iron or titanium halos are caused by leaching of color from the rutile inclusion into their host sapphires. It is a rebounding process which only occurs in very high temperature environments. So whenever you see a, um, a yellow sapphire with these blue halos, it's a hundred percent almost guaranteed that you know this stone has been treated by diffusion, either by beryllium or titanium diffusion. And again, the the reason why these you will see these evidence is because it's of the extremely high temperature treatment which these sapphires have to go through so even let's look at this last image right here of the these melted crystals again if you compare this melted crystals with the unheated yellow sapphire you'll notice that the, the crystals are not as defined as and as little more cloudy and not clear so again with the experience as we as gemologists have we could tell that this these crystals are has been subject to heat treatment and not intact like the unheated yellow sapphire which we saw okay so i hope you found this video these this video useful and please subscribe or like as this will make us people find us more and will encourage us to make more videos like this and if you have any additional questions or comments please feel free to uh, write it below and I'll be glad to answer it back. Thanks again for your time and I hope you guys have a good day.